So many people getting into this career are trying to figure out what's best for them. Is it EMS? Is it the fire department? Which is best for you? This video right here, I'm gonna break down the EMS side versus the fire department side. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's a paramedic coach here. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell to see more videos just like this. And everybody watching, punch that like button down below as well so more EMS students like yourself can see this content. Now, what we're talking about today is EMS, like all EMS versus EMS on the fire department side. What is best for you? Your location that you are living in, working in, moving to, whatever you're trying to do, that is going to be the most important piece to your decision, okay? So let me give you an example. In some areas, let's just talk about what they do, okay? In some areas, EMS will do everything. And then there simply will be a volunteer fire department, right? That is the, uh, the actual firefighting, right? And there's no EMS wing in certain areas, in cer certain uh, service areas, okay? In other service areas, which is very common nowadays, you will have EMS, a like private EMS, or, or some of the county EMS, right? And then you will have a first response ALS, which means that they have EMS, of course, wing to their fire department. So what is very common in a lot of I guess you could say more urban areas is the following service area structure where you have ALS fire departments, which means they have a paramedic on the truck and they have paramedic level equipment on the truck and they're first responding to the call. And then the transporting unit is a private ambulance service that comes usually a few minutes behind that unit, gets on scene, there's a transfer of care that takes place, and then that paramedic on the uh, private ambulance uh, truck will then transport the patient. Now, what if that ambulance has two EMTs? Then the paramedic from the fire department will then come on that transporting unit and then they will go to the hospital together. Pretty cool, right? So that's how it works in a lot of areas, right? There are different situations where there could be uh, first responders from the fire department. You could have a fly car paramedic come out and then intercept, a lot of different things. So the location that you live and how the service area works is gonna determine a lot. Well, how and why? Well, if your goal, for example, is to be a paramedic, and the only paramedics in your area are at the fire department, or the only paramedics in your area are EMS, that's where you're gonna go, right? Unless you're going to move to a different area, which again, I. Recommend that you, if you see a great opportunity, jump on it. But I'm just telling you here, that's in, in staying in your, your service area. Yes, that's how it will be, okay? So now let's talk about just differences that we see with EMS versus the fire department. Let's dive into that next. So starting with EMS services, right? Any service, whether it's fire departments or EMS, right? It's either BLS or ALS. BLS means two EMTs on an ambulance. Now, ALS would mean EMT and a paramedic. It also could mean you have an advanced EMT that makes it ALS as well, okay? Some areas might call that intermediate life support, okay? In some other countries, they call it that, to give you an example, okay? Now, when we're talking about the EMS side, private ambulance services are where a lot of people get their first start in this career, right? So, I'll put on the screen here, some of the, the, the biggest ambulance services out there. Just so you can see, I'll, I'll put some pictures here. I've got a little list here so you can see that. Now, the other end of the spectrum, we have county services. There are city services, right? So there could be an EMS service that covers a county, an EMS service that covers just a city, right? Then you have private ambulance service, which is a, like, a, like a for-profit business. So it's not a government entity, it's a business entity that will do the same thing, right? Now, it's not a rule, but usually, if the city or county service, usually that is focusing on emergency service. If it is a private ambulance service, 
it can be either or, which means they could be doing 911 calls only, or they could be doing 911 calls and non-emergent and or critical care or inner facility transports, right? So what I'm saying is this, on the EMS side, if you work at an EMS agency, you could be doing more than just 911 calls. You may be doing transfers, for example, from, to and from dialysis. You could be doing transfers from a hospital to home. You could be doing transfers from a home to, um, to a rehab or vice versa, rehab to home, right? That could be done, okay? You could be taking somebody to hospice, right? You could also, if you're a paramedic, be transferring from a low hospital to a higher level care hospital, right? You could be transferring from a hospital 45 minutes out to a major city hospital, and you're the paramedic that's going along with the care, right? Because they need that level of care. That's usually reserved for the EMS side, I would say in nine out of 10 circumstances, okay? There's never any absolutes in anything. So I'm gonna say here in nine out of 10, it's basically how it is though, okay? On the other side over here, we have the fire department wing that we're gonna talk about now. Usually if you are working in a fire department that is based on the 911 EMS wing only, right? So let's say for example, there was a city fire department, right? That city fire department that has paramedics, right? That's, they're gonna be doing 911 calls. They're not gonna be usually be doing the, the other, the other I talked about earlier on, like transfer and stuff like that, okay? Now, how is the life between EMS and FD? What's the difference? Let's get into that next. So from what I've seen, and there are differences throughout, is usually most people will get their start at a private ambulance service. Then they will then gain some experience. Could be one year, two years, three years, five years, whatever they feel comfortable with. And then usually from there, that person, whether it's an EMT, advanced EMT, or medic, by then you may have gotten your paramedic, for example, okay? You'll start looking and kind of start shopping around for the best opportunities for you. That's a usual course of action inside the EMS career, okay? That could mean moving to a fire department. That could mean moving to a county EMS service off a of private. That could mean you really want to do this, uh, you know, critical access EMS in this area. That can be moving to a different city. I don't know what that means for you. I'm just saying that's a usual trend, a usual trend, okay, that you will see. Now, if we look at the, the you know, on the job life of the two, a lot of private ambulance services post their ambulances out which means you are literally in the ambulance, like you, bring it, like you bring your food with you and you're on the ambulance for eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 hours, right? And you're on the ambulance and you're, just, you're staging, waiting for a call, right? The fire department, I have never seen a fire department without a, a base to go to. So that's a, that's a big difference. So if you are working private EMS on this side of the, of the fence, if you will, who your partner is, is extremely important because you're going to be in a box, literally, with them for the whole shift. And you can't get away from them. You, I hope you like your partner, <laughs> okay? So that's really important, okay? On the fire department aspect, yes, of course, you want to have a good relationship with your partner, of course, in any circumstance. But on the FD side, you have the base to move around a bit. You have other department members that are in there, right? So that is, I would say, the biggest difference. Now, as far as what some might call a camaraderie, you cannot compete with the camaraderie of a fire department versus EMS. There's just something ingrained in the tradition of fire departments. You're going to have that camaraderie inside the fire department. You just don't get that in EMS. Working EMS, I, I've never worked in a fire department only on the EMS side. What I can tell you is this, I always sought out great partnerships and that's what always made the job so great for me, right? Is having great partners, either, you know, partners that I could build up or, or, or you know, they, were, they really want to learn or having just great relationships with partners, you know? 
that we, we had a great uh, communication on calls, right? We had a great rapport in front of patients. The patients could see that. If you're on the EMS side, you wanna look for that. It, you're, it's gonna really make you love what you do. I can't recommend that enough. Now, a few more notes I wanna throw at you here as far as the fire department versus EMS. Remember what I talked about on the EMS side? I talked about a few extra things you may be doing. Well, there's a lot more extra on the fire department side too. Now, on the fire department side, what we haven't talked about is what's fire rescue. So there can be you know, wild, a lot of wilderness rescue, right? Out in the woodlands, okay? What else do we talk about with the fire department side? Water rescue. That's usually reserved on the fire department side. Remember, EMS usually is more integrated usually with the hospital system, right? Where the fire department may be more in communication with the actual community and like the city, right? That's not a rule, but it's usually how it is. So you have one on one, one on the other. Now let's talk about how you would move up the ranks, if you will, EMS versus fire department. EMS going up the ranks, if you will, is more based on your level of certification. And I believe trying to get in the best opportunity for you. So for example, like going from EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, then you have your host of certifications, tactical medic, critical care, flight paramedic, community paramedic. Uh, you can get special uh, certifications with pediatrics. You part of, be part of a pediatric team, right? So that's usually the realm, after you've worked EMS for three to five years, figuring out what do I really wanna you know, dig my teeth into inside of EMS, right? On that side, trying to find that you know, dream job, if you will, on that side. Where, where is it and who, who's hiring, right? On the other side, what we have is the fire department wing. Well, obviously, there's a ranking structure inside of the fire departments. And the other thing we haven't even mentioned once on this video yet, is that you are a firefighter first. So in the fire departments, you are always a firefighter first than from what I've seen, okay? Now let me know in the comments down below if maybe you've seen fire departments that completely have an EMS wing where they are not even fire trained. I haven't seen it. Let me know about that in the comments down below. But from what I've seen, if you are at a fire department, you are always a firefighter first, EMS second. That's what I've seen. You let me know in the comments what you think about that. Maybe you've seen something different in your area. Let me know in the comments. So that's something to keep in mind. And we're going the fire department route. Always know you gotta have your fire department skills intact. Where EMS, this is solely EMS. There's no firefighting going on. Two separate things. Hope that makes sense. Wherever path you decide to go, just remember to be great. Remember to go all in on whatever career you decide. And remember that as long as you're going up the, the EMS ranks that we talk about here, EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, getting our certifications, learning more, being great at what you do, there's always going to be an opportunity for you on either side. So never be worried about that. It's not like I have to choose one early on and I'm stuck. No, no, no. That's not how it is. You just want to keep getting better at yourself and there always will be an opportunity for you out there. That's for sure. So my friends, I got one more message for you and I will see you in the next video. Hey everyone, I really hope you enjoyed that video talking about EMS versus the fire department. If you're somebody out there right now getting ready for EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic school, maybe you're in school right now or you're getting ready for your national registry or state exams, you can see on the screen here, I've created a 400 plus video library that goes through it all from pre-EMT all the way to your first day as a fully fledged medic. I'm talking about anatomy and physiology, medications, cardiology, pharmacology, BLS, ALS. If you really want to be great and get this stuff down cold, you want to prep for national registry, the link in the description is down below. Prepare for EMS.com. It's my life's work. You can get lifetime access by clicking down below right now. My friends, my name is Evan, the Paramedic Coach. I will see you back here on YouTube. If you haven't, hit subscribe yet. And I will see you next time. Take care. Don't waste any time. Don't, don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's, it got me to where I was, where it's been a year without school.
from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions. Like, go for it. You could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to. They need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a have to. It take uh, uh, thousands and thousands of pages in the books and you just narrow it down and just make everything simple I pass the registry. So uh, it's, it's, it's great content, man. I promise you it's worth it. I took this with three weeks left to go in my class and I just, I'm not sure if I would have been able to pass my course or the NREMT first try without this course. The fact like when I was taking the, the national and I would read the question and I, I would be like, whoa, Evan literally just went over this in the car. So it's, it really, it helps. I got to the point where I was just ready to spill all my knowledge onto this freaking test. So I'm like, you know what, man, just go ahead, go for it. Open it up, boom, congratulations, you passed. It was um, outside of having my children, man, it's probably the, more like the happiest day of my life, bro, to be honest with you.